Hello and welcome to Handmade by Julie Quinn and my card created using these lovely butterflies and flowers layering decorative masks. These come in our current, I'll just pop this out of the way, current mini catalogue and there's a set of six and they've got a beautiful vine and more flowers so there's the roses and this is the one we're going to use for this project here so I'll pop that there this one some more flowers and they're designed to be layered so you can put layers over the top of your already um, sponged flowers and create extra detail so you can do one layer I'm not going to do that with you today but another day keep your eyes peeled I'll have something to share with you there's also the, the butterfly mask that has the two layers and another beautiful flower one which can fit over that one. An all over floral design and a lovely lacy design. And when you get them, they come with this cool little, it's always good to read the packaging on your products. On the piece of paper that comes with the masks in many languages, but in English it says, it's so easy, just place your mask over cardstock, fabric or other material and add a little colour. You can spritz using ink, chalk or glimmer sprays, sponge using ink or paint, which is what we're going to do today, trace using markers, emboss using Versamark ink and embossing powder or add texture using embossing paste. Doesn't that all sound so much fun? And it says to hold the mask in place, use temporary adhesive or temporary tape, such as printer's tape. Use just a tiny bit of ink or paint. If you use too much, it'll seep under the mask. To clean, wipe off with a baby wipe or rinse off. Easy peasy Japanesey. Okay, I'll put these ones aside. Now I've introduced you to these amazing masks that you really should add to your collection. And we're going to create this card here, which also features the leafery a leaf and the greeting from the friendly hello celebration stamp set okay all right I'll just pop that away I'm using also two blending brushes one for my pink and one for my yellow I actually have a couple of sets of these blending brushes they come in a set of three and I've kept mine for the same colors same color families as well okay Right, now the other thing I'm going to share with you, I'll just get my inks ready, my little post-it notes. I'm using Polished Pink and Daffodil Delight today for my project. But the other thing I'm going to use is my, what's it called? Stamparatus, because the magnet is brilliant at holding it in place. Now I just have to get my project out. This is one of the projects I had at our recent retreat day. And I've got a set of um, kits left over that I'm using for my videos to show you. Okay, so there's not too much cardstock in my project. There's two pieces of Mango Melody, two pieces of white, which I'm using for our mask and then our base card. Just pop those out of the way for the minute. And this is the one for the front and the inside, and they're exactly the same. Now, what I'm telling you about is the Stamparatus is brilliant for this because all you need to do is, if I pop that there, pop my magnet on, and it holds everything in place. Now, I will put a couple of post it notes just around the edges, just in case I get a bit too wild with my blending brushes and because I have done that once already okay there we go so we just have our mask that we need and two blending brushes now I actually there's a lot of polished pink on my brush so I'm not actually going to ink it up anymore I'm just going to add oh, I've done the wrong one I didn't look at that correctly did I okay that's the other image, which is looking pretty cool. This is the one we're going to use here today. Okay, because it has a bit more detail. So I'll just add my post-it notes, post-it note, 
magnet done. Maybe one more there just in case. Okay, again with the, the blending brush. Just blending very softly with my blending brush. I'm not using much pressure because I like a soft tone. And then with my Daffodil Delight, I'm going over the top and I'm not being too specific in the location of my ink because when you're blending with the blending brushes, I love the multi-hued tone that comes with it. Okay, now where will I line up my flowers this time? Okay, over here I think. And I'll need a few more post-it notes just to protect my work there. And again, with my polished pink, as I said, there's a lot of ink already on my blending brush, so I'm not too, too worried about inking it up again. And I will add some more ink to my Daffodil Delight brush, just to give it a bit more intense colour. There we go. Okay. It's the second layer. Done. Look at that. And then I'll swing it around this way. Gotta make sure I leave enough room for my greeting down the bottom. Okay, there we are. And a magnet, hold it all in place so I don't have to worry about it. Use my Daffodil Delight first this time. And a bit of my polished pink blending brush. Okay, there's my front piece all complete. Look at that. Now on the inside panel, I'm just going to put a little bit of colour in each of the corners. Up here, maybe a little bit higher perhaps. There we are. And Daffodil Delight on my smaller flowers. A little bit on my corner there. There we go. There's one corner complete. And now the other corner. And just make sure. Yep, there we go. I love the way... The colours blend beautifully to create, when they blend, they create the, that lovely mango melody colour. Okay, there we are. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, I can pop all my masks away, close up my two ink pads and my blending brushes. Just pop this here and while that's there I'm going to stamp a few leaves just to pick up the colour and give it a bit more interest. Just lifts it a little bit I think and also I can use my leaf to cover up any splodges I've created on my project. I need to clean my block because I'm adding splodges everywhere. Make sure my fingers are all clean. And I'm using Granny Apple Green, which is also part of the, the Brights family, like the Daffodil Delight. Okay, there's my inside piece. Here's my front piece. Before I stamp my leaves, I am going to stamp my greeting. Now on this one, I'm going to put my greeting right in the middle. It says, hope you have the best birthday. Okay, and then some leaves. One there, one there. I might have to put another one in there. I've got a bit of a splodge. The beauty of the leaf. Just when you like when you're floral arranging at home, the leaves hide all of the the tricky bits. Another one up there, there, because I made a bit of a splodge just up there. Don't you think the leaves lift it? Make it just look so pretty. 
Okay, there we are. That's my bouquet on my sponged card. All right, now all I have to do is assemble my card. Just pop that out of the way. I've created for this card a fun Z fold, which means that just created a little concertina there. And I've got one piece of mango melody for the front. Just, oh, look, there's my other bit there. So with this bit here, can you see how when you put that over the top, and you'll be able to line over your masks, you'll be able to get multiple tones in your image. But I think with the blending brushes, you just get beautiful multiple tones anyway. Now this one, I'll do the base one first actually. That way I can line it up onto the base. So if you're doing little um, Z fold cards like this, my tip is to put the inside, because you can use any size, I'm using large ones for this one, put um, your base one on, okay, like that. And then when you put this one, you can line it up exactly with the base one. And it just looks really good. And I'm just flipping that over because I only want glue right on this half. That is it. I do not want it on the other half because it overhangs. Okay. And I'll line that up there. And that way they'll be all together. And then the last thing is to add... Some beautiful bling. Look at that. Some lovely sparkles to the center of all of these flowers. Just make it shimmer and shine. I was so impressed with how pretty this card is. I don't normally do pinks very often at all. I'm very much a green girl. But I just love how this one turned out. I hope you've enjoyed that. There you go, there's my two cards. That one's got a splodge on it. Look at that. Bye-bye now.